In 2009, something remarkable took place. The Italian luxury design company Pierpaolo Lazzarini announced perhaps its most ambitious project to date. The Pangios is a terra-yacht, turtle-shaped floating city that will accommodate as many as 60,000 people. This giant project will feature malls, a rooftop garden, resorts, and international helicopter pads and ports. Unsurprisingly, the Italian designer chose Saudi Arabia as the country where this astounding project will be built. Of course, this makes sense since the nation is now regarded as the world's hub of mind-blowing structures. Although this project will be constructed in Saudi Arabia, it is expected to sail the world non-stop as it will be equipped with virtually endless green energy supplies. If completed, the Pangios yacht will be the biggest floating structure ever built. But what will be inside? How will they prevent Titanic 2.0? And will it ever become reality? The design company Lazzarini is well known for its outlandish projects. The Italian firm has designed futuristic seaports and flying superyachts, and here they are again with something that's simply mind-blowing. The Terra Yacht concept is in line with its name, Pangeos. The word Terra Yacht simply means bigger than a superyacht. Pangeos is a reference to the supercontinent Pangaea, which existed millions of years ago during the early Mesozoic era. So obviously, this project will be big. But how big exactly? Well, it will be twice the size of the Roman Colosseum. The length of this behemoth project is expected to measure 1,800 feet, while its width is 2,000 feet from wing to wing. Each wing is expected to house 19 villas and 64 apartments. Now, if you're getting Titanic vibes from this project, don't be afraid, because they plan to ensure that it is unsinkable. But how? Since the early 2000s, Saudi Arabia has been home to many futuristic projects which have made it a tourist hotspot. However, the Pangeos is different because it is designed to be a seafaring city. That thought would naturally scare environmentalists, but Lazzarini plans to take advantage of green energy. The engine will likely draw its power from ocean waves, but that's not its only power source. The designers propose to cover the floating city in solar panels to power the hotel load and propulsion system. Its engine will run on nine electric motors with a horsepower of 16,800 each. With such power and force, the city will be capable of moving at a maximum speed of 5 knots. Also, this turtle city will house various buildings including hotels, malls, and rooftop terraces. In fact, the sheer size of the structure allows for an unlimited possibility in terms of layout and facilities. Being aboard the Terriot is expected to feel like a mix of three things, a cruise ship, a five-star resort, and a city. To produce such a feeling, the Pangios will feature sprawling gardens, a rooftop mall, multiple swimming pools, and a supersized beach club. Since the luxurious project is built to accommodate the rich, it will also have hangars, helipads, and marinas, all of which will be positioned at the upper shell zone. Not much is known about the lower part of the Pangios, but we can tell you that it will comprise 30,000 cluster compartments to which corridors will connect. It will also include an unsinkable floating solution that's built out of steel. As stated earlier, this project is twice the size of the Colosseum and therefore too big to be built in an existing yard. Thus, it needs a unique facility, and Saudi Arabia has emerged as the nation with the perfect location. This project would require around one square kilometer of the sea. Plus, it would have to be dredged and a circular dam constructed around it. Without such measures, it would be impossible to begin the construction of the Turtle City. So where in Saudi Arabia fits the bill? As it turns out, the developers have earmarked an area at King Abdullah Port, 81 miles north of Jeddah, as the ideal location. Although this project's idea came way back in 2009, it is still nothing but a video animation. The project's designers estimate that the vessel would take no more than 8 years to complete, but we can't begin the countdown now because construction hasn't really started. Why? Well, the cost of this project is $8 billion, and the funding is yet to be secured. Nonetheless, Lazzarini intends to begin proper construction in the year 2033. 
Towards that goal, they have started a crowdfunding initiative that allows interested persons to buy anything from a VIP apartment to a virtual entrance ticket for $169 and $16 respectively. Such purchases are to be made via NFTs. Still, one of the concerns currently surrounding the project has to do with fossil fuels since it is very likely for such a project to consume a lot of it. There's also the issue of labor shortages, which might hinder the project. However, we believe that the developers have a solution to these issues, so the turtle-shaped city may get completed after all. Would you want to live in such a city? Let us know down in the comments, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you like this, then check out our video about Niam, Saudi Arabia's $1 trillion megacity set to be completed by 2030. This is Business Loop. Have an amazing day.